Hi all, welcome to my very first YouTube video. I'm Kara Cooper. I'm gonna to talk to you today about the IUD and my experience with it. I found that there's a lot of misleading information on the copper IUD that really helps sell the IUD, but doesn't help someone know the true side effects and what to prepare for. It's rated to be safe for 10 to 12 years, depending on who you talk to, but I had it for nine years and <coughs> its top feature is that it's non-hormonal, for example, but it does influence hormones. And I'm still healing from that about a year and a half later. None of the doctors or specialists knew what was going on with my health when I kept coming in for it over the years. And that's something that I find really concerning, especially because when I got it in, I wasn't really heavily informed on the full side effects of what I actually ended up experiencing. My health was worsening over time and I changed my entire diet, lifestyle, supplement, and skincare routine to no avail. Doctors and specialists that I went to throughout the years didn't know what the heck was going on with my health. So I really wanna put this message out there to the world and I'm gonna tell you my full experience in this story. Before we get into it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and turn on notifications. It'll definitely reach more people that way and you'll get notified as soon as I make a video. Prior to getting the IUD, I had tried just about every birth control out there because I hadn't gotten a normal period. I was very light, it would come like once every three months and I was just concerned about it. So doctors pushed me to get on the pill right away. But every single birth control I tried, I was getting terrible symptoms from it. I went to the Chicago Women's Health Center a few years later and I had been exploring having a regular period. They'd been giving me acupuncture and telling me about certain supplements. And that's when they told me about the non-hormonal copper IUD. So the only negative side effect they were telling me about the IUD is that I would have heavy periods and a risk of ectopic pregnancy. I didn't have heavy, heavy periods at all, so that wasn't a problem for me. It was 2011 when I was 21 that I got the IUD inserted. I had to order it from Canada. I don't remember why they had me do that. I was horribly misinformed about how painful insertion might be for me, so I had driven to the clinic and I expected that I was able to drive myself home afterwards, but I had to leave my car there and figure out a way to get home. And this was pre-Uber and Lyft times, and I was not about to get on a bus, so I had to call a random classmate who was available at that hour. I had to take back-to-back -back hot baths because it was so painful that night, but I pushed through it. I had really bad bloating from it, and that just turned into weight gain. I was more prone to infection, vaginal and digestive throughout the years. I was also getting constant B12 deficiency issues, and they kept exploring that and checking me out throughout time. I had a lot of pain in my body at random and adrenal issues. By year six, my issues started getting worse. So off and on, by that point, I had gotten ovarian cysts, really intense cystic acne. I'd have headaches as soon as I would drink alcohol. I had a really low immune system and I would get sick like twice as often as people I lived with. I had allergies get worse, especially to things I wasn't even allergic to prior. I had pain in my body, a lot of like fibromyalgia type pain. I had fatigue, yet a racing mind. I had painful heavy periods, a lot of anxiety and moodiness. I had constant GI issues, and I'm talking like diarrhea like daily for a while. Uh, I had tingling in the hands and feet at random, dry skin, weak nails. I started getting like gray hairs earlier than anyone in my family, hair loss and hair weakness. I also had weight gain, but I did get rid of that with some intense exercise. So TMI, I'm gonna talk about some like very serious, like intimate details. It also caused some really intense odor to come out of me. And it was only around year six until removal, but it also affected the taste of me, according to my partner. And that again, only year six until removal. <laughs> um, never again, you know, um, it also kind of started to hurt more throughout time to have sex and to orgasm. Uh, it felt like spikier and sharper and it was like a, a gradual change so I didn't notice. And in fact with all of this it was such a gradual change until like year nine really knocked me out and I started having really bad issues. And the only positive thing that I can take away from the IUD is that it didn't get me pregnant. but. I actually talked to a friend who had the IUD as well and she did get pregnant on the IUD. So it's not a be all end all either. And let's be honest, there's also other options out there. 
So in year nine, my episodes went from temporary to every day. I was desperate to find the root cause. I kept going to doctors and they kept saying it's in place, so it couldn't possibly be the IUD, but they kept giving me other tests like pregnancy tests and STD tests, even though I'd been with the same partner for years. The body pains I was having started getting so bad that I couldn't do activities I loved anymore and I didn't even enjoy walking my dog as much. It also even hurt to get dressed in the morning. It was starting to be just super weird for a young, otherwise healthy adult to have to experience. And I never really had acne except for like a few bumps here and there throughout my life, except for year nine when it was just constant cystic acne on my face. And I also had like this weird blotching and like some discoloration on my skin. It seemed like I was picking up freckles a lot faster as well. I talked to a friend about all this and she said she'd actually had the copper AD as well. And she also had acne. That the acne was only during the time she had the IUD. So that sent me thinking down a path of like, maybe it is the IUD. Maybe doctors don't always know how things are infecting the individual as much as the mass group of people. I posted on a Facebook group called Healing Acne Naturally. That's where I put all the different symptoms I was going through, as well as the fact that I had an IUD. Right away, someone wrote on that post, it's the IUD, check out the copper IUD group, check out copper toxicity. And I was shocked. And I go to that group and there's thousands of women. It's insane. And I look up copper toxicity and there's all my symptoms. Every single one of them. And I'm just like, wow. I right away got it out at immediate care and I felt so much relief. It did not hurt at all to get it out compared to getting inserted, which is such a night and day difference. But I have heard it can hurt for women to get it removed if it wasn't in proper placement, but you probably should remove it anyway at that stage. So I'll show you the device. It's pretty disgusting. So look away if you're not into that, but it's corroded to black and it has pieces missing. It even has yellow stuff on the string. And I took it home in a medical container. Uh, <laughs> there's still yellow stuff on the string. I felt immediately relieved. I felt like just the night before I'd been feeling this like pressure around my neck and it lifted upon removal. And I felt this weird pain in my left foot and it went away completely after removal. This was super strange to me. I was able to do activities I loved again. I was doing fine. Everything I was going through wasn't completely over. It does take about two to three years to completely detox and reset and can even take longer. It's important to detox, but also to nourish your body. Some people really focus hard on detoxing, but you gotta really take it slow and go easy. Your body has been through a lot. It's not gonna happen overnight, especially for me, someone who had it for nine years, it's gonna take time. But my episodes started going from every day back to temporary. I had better skin, Although I still do have episodes of acne outbreaks. My hair was getting thicker. Are you wondering how the copper ID could cause all this in somebody? Well, copper is great in small amounts. We do need a bioavailable amount of it every day. It's in avocados, coconuts, nuts, lots of good things that we eat. But if you have an excess of copper, it can offset the copper to zinc ratio. And that causes vitamin and, and mineral imbalances as well as hormone imbalance and it also causes constant inflammation in the uterus. That's its literal purpose to prevent pregnancy, which inflammation in the body for that long isn't good. It causes other issues, and that also can affect your hormones. So this non-hormonal IUD is actually very much hormonal in some ways. It just doesn't contain the hormones. An overload of copper is not good for the body. It's a heavy metal. <laughs> and it'll cause side effects, as some people call them, or copper toxicity, as others refer to it. It's just an imbalance in the body, basically, and it only gets worse throughout time if you don't address it. There's also other options out there. I mean, let's be honest, there's condoms, the old-fashioned condom, and then there's the FAM method, which is the fertility awareness method. There's also male vasectomy. If you don't want babies, then hey, you know? Anyway, I've wasted thousands of dollars exploring my health for years, and the problem was inside me the entire time. I just really wish I'd listened to my gut earlier. It was telling me literally like right there is where the pain is, go check it out. And I kept telling the doctors like again and again, but you just have to be your own advocate. At a certain point you have to be like, I want this thing out. And there's a lot of women that have trouble having doctors remove it. I don't know why that is and we'll interview and talk about that question, but 
I didn't have a problem getting it removed. They took it out right away, thankfully. But doctors do still try to push the pill on me, and I find that ridiculous. Like, if you're going to give it as this be-all, end-all band-aid for everything, it's not like your body's going to suddenly have hormone balance after you start taking birth control and then stop again. You're just going to go back to your hormone imbalance issues that you had before. So it's not a long-term solution, and it's not a be-all, end-all cure for acne and ovarian cysts Unless you have some serious debilitating pain that you like just need some temporary relief from, I don't suggest it personally. Um, but you know, I'm not a health professional, <laughs> but I'm also not making money off of this. I just find it so important to talk about this online because I was swearing by my IUD for so long, having no clue that it was causing all these issues in my health. And I know that there's several other people out there probably swearing by it too. Not everybody has bad issues from the copper IUD, but it is very important to note that the issues can sometimes be silent and occur over the course of years, just like a gradient, gradually getting into it. So it can look like aging and it could look like other things. It's a really important thing to keep in mind that it could be a culprit for a lot of women going through some of these same symptoms. So if you wanna start your journey of exploring copper issues and if the copper AD is right for you, you can check out all those links below. Be sure to like this video because it's my very first one and definitely check out the other videos I'm going to make on this topic and other topics. You can also subscribe and hit that alert button. You're welcome to follow me on social media. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time.